Sneak peek. Ooh. What if the intro was just me staring deeply into the camera and saying nothing? <laughs> Alrighty, to start out, I'm doing that thing where you use your own body as your dress form. I'm about to rage at this tape right now because it is not coming off the roll and that is the most annoying thing ever. Alright, I'm fine. I'm fine. And then I take a piece of scrap fabric and lay it out on my body and trace out where the lines are and oh my god, I got a needle in the finger. Ooh. <laughs> All right, and here are all the pieces I came up with. Boom, boom, pow. Oh, you can't really do your back like this, by the way, either, because you can't really reach behind there. I then decided to take the time to make a mock-up, but that turned out to be a waste of time. So uh, let's move on. Some amount of time where I didn't do anything because I felt really drab later. Okay, you guys, I am back. I was in a little bit of a funk. Oh, no, no, no. Bruh and had problems with working and like workflow and I just wasn't feeling right. But I am back and better than ever and ready to go. Hyperdrive focus. It's okay to not expect yourself to work hard and be crazy every single day. You need a balance of things. Everybody has those days. Everybody knows what I'm talking about. Everybody gets that way. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has those days. I then did some hardcore math and cut that one waist piece I had into three and added seam allowance to all the edges. Now the hard part is deciding what motifs and designs from your fabric you want on which piece of your pattern and how they're all gonna look together. I strategically used the big rose pattern for the uh, boob area and uh, you probably know why. Oh my god, you guys, the glitter on this is really, really freaking me out. And now that I'm an adult, I hate glitter because it's microplastic and microplastic is horrible. And I didn't even realize it had glitter on it. Like, I'm just going to vacuum it up. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. And now I'm doing some more hardcore math. You could probably call me a mathematician at this point because I calculated the pattern piece I need for my back based off my measurements and the measurements for the front piece. I also cut out an inch or two extra on the back because I may or may not have commitment issues. I don't know why, but I can never finish a full bag of chips. I always have to leave like a couple crumbs in there, but I can't throw it away because I don't want to waste the crumbs, but I never eat the crumbs. So I'm just prolonging it until I get desperate. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Can't take, Can't it, take out. it out. Can't take Can't it out. out. You can always take it in. Ooh. Look at all those pieces. Super nerdy content alert. So my mom reposts all of my videos on Facebook because she's really kind and sweet and really good mom like that. One of her coworkers saw it and she decided to send me all of her old collection of vintage patterns that she's used pretty much her whole life. Look at this. So many patterns. Here's a couple of my favorites, like this one, this one. Look at all of these. Another jumpsuit, woo! There's two Vogue ones in here. These are all children's patterns. Look at all of that. I think there's like 200 in here. But I just thought that was so cool, so I had to show you guys. Okay. Ah. It's time to actually sew all these bad boy pieces together, but we're doing it wrong sides because we want the raw edges facing outwards because we're gonna cover the raw edges anyways. Wait, I didn't know Hagrid was a tailor. You're seeing Mr. Harry? 
I'm now sewing the two booby pieces together to make one booby piece. I only made one mistake this time. Oh man, that symmetry though, woo! That hit right. It's time to press that motherfucking steam, you know what I mean? The next step is to attach each of those booby holder pieces to each side of the bodice. Wow, look at that! The last thing I'm gonna do for today is put these bad boys together. All right, now that that's done, see you tomorrow. I'm gonna go get a good night's sleep. Good night. Oh. Hello. Have you ever wanted to look like that oddly specific random photograph of Dwayne the Rock Johnson? No? Oh, okay. Okay, so maybe that wasn't the best segue ever. But I'm excited to announce that I have an official partner for this video. And they are Filippo Loretti. Ooh. They are a luxury jewelry and watch company that provides you fancy feeling jewelry without the crazy price point, which I think is awesome because not everybody can afford that kind of stuff, me included. I got to pick out two jewelry pieces from them to review. The first one I got is this gold chain. It's called the Louise. It's really simple and classy. The other thing I got was the one ring to rule them all. It's a simple gold band that's called the Vittoria and I love how it just provides like a sleek look. You could pair it with anything, that's what's great about these. I really enjoyed these two jewelry pieces and they have so many more good options for almost any style you could think of. They also have a large selection of watches. So feel free to check out their website and I have a discount code. Oh. It is Live and Create 15. You could get 15% off your total order of Filippo Loretti jewelry and watches. With that being said, time to awkwardly segue to the rest of the video. Before I start, I'm going to make myself a latte. Pretty sure my YouTube is just a compilation of me being crazy. I'm not like that all the time, you know? Like I am chill. I'm trying to be resourceful here, so I'm using this roll of green elastic that I have as bias tape, and you're not really supposed to do that when you're making boning channels, like use something stretchy, but like, what are they gonna do? Are they gonna come find me? Because if they, if they do, I'm gonna need some help, to be honest. I am not good with confrontation or anything like that, so. And here I am cutting out all the little doodles I need to cover all of the seams. For the seam that goes OTB, over the boob, I'm making it extra long to use as a strap. And I thought that was genius. But not to toot my own horn or anything. Wow, that went surprisingly well. I have like a weird kind of motherly protection over my fabric scissors. I mean, look at them. Ooh. They're beautiful. If anybody cut anything other than fabric with this. I put my Vigiline boning in all the channels and to finish off the edges, I'm kind of doing something crazy here and sewing in like a weird figure eight above the boob and under the boob and then doing that for the other side and then the back side and I know this probably doesn't even make sense and I don't even know if any of you guys even care, but yeah, that's what I did. 
this is what I got done so far and it's turning out really well. I'm gonna finish uh, when I get back because when you have a twin sister that wants to get ice cream, you're kind of like obligated to go with her. <sighs> Whatever, it's not like I wanted ice cream too. Let's go get ice cream. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do the ice cream dance, ice cream, do the ice cream dance. Cheers. This is the most fun we've had in weeks. I'm yeah. just kidding. <laughs> do the ice cream dance, do the ice cream dance, 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 do the ice cream dance. Uh. I'm back and I'm sugared out. Here I am extra concentrating and extra shrimping to try to get the front and the back elastic to match up perfectly and sew directly on the line that I already sewed. All right, I think we've reached the point where I have to start thinking about the back. Otherwise, I might have to redo a bunch of work. Uh. Here I am measuring how much I need to cut off the back to make it slightly smaller than what I actually need because I'm gonna do like a lace-up situation. Uh, so I don't really know if it did anything. I added interfacing to the edge. I thought it'd be a good idea to use this black bias tape that I have lying around and just sew it to the back. So I just thought that this would provide some structure. It's like pretty thick. So maybe, I don't know if I, what I'm thinking is right, but uh, I'm thinking it. I don't know if what I'm thinking is right, but I'm thinking it. I sewed a strip of the elastic on the front and a piece of that bias tape on the back. And now I'm finishing up the bottom, baby. Okay, I'm putting in the grommets, but don't judge my floor, okay? It happens. Damn, dude, no wonder why my back hurt the next day. <laughs> oh, man. So, I guess I was really excited that I was almost done, so I felt the need to express myself through the art form of mediocre dance. I found this ribbon in our family craft stash, and it is too skinny. I'll probably end up getting more next time I go to Joanne's, but I don't know when that will be. So for now, I guess I'll just use this. Oh my God, oh my God, we're almost done. Time to sew down the straps and secure that bag. Oh yeah. Okay, we're not quite done yet. I did make a choker necklace by cutting out some of the flowers and sewing it down to a piece of extra elastic. I don't really know how I feel about it. I don't even really know how I feel about chokers in general. So we'll see if I wear it or not. It was just kind of like a little experiment, you know? But now, now we're done. And it's time for you to see the final ensemble. Ooh.
statue, man. Oh my god! Oh, oh it's okay, Belle. <laughs> this was an antique. This is how uh, Julius Caesar was assassinated. Boop. <laughs> Does that look aesthetic? Sure. Okay. Liv, you are crazy. You know that? Yeah. <sighs> Is that cool? Sure. <laughs> Gold all in my chain, gold all in my ring. I don't know what I'm saying. Well, <laughs> okay. Oh my God, can I do that? <sighs> you can't do that, okay. Oh, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, I'm just gonna move on, move on, move on. But I just like interfaced, interfaced, I interfaced. <laughs>